Hello and welcome to my totally empty house. Uh, loving it. <laughs> so today, Lindsay and I are sort of introducing, well, I introduced a bit of a self-care Sunday. Not really in the tra traditional sense, but more like, let's call it personal space Sunday. So in light of, uh, you know, coronavirus and staying at home and whatnot, um, and Lindsay's working from home instead of going into the office, we're all up in one, one another's spaces pretty much all the time. So I just thought it would be a healthy thing for us to make sure that we're each still getting a bit of personal space. I'm someone who craves and really loves alone time. So I, yeah, I need it to feel rejuvenated and I think everyone is a bit the same. So this morning I just suggested to Lindsay, like, would you like a little bit of alone time today, kid free and wife free? And he said rather quickly, I might add, yes, yes, I would really like that. So he's gonna have his this afternoon. This morning, Jed and Lindsay have just left and they're going to a park and they're just gonna ride, ride around a little bit. Um, we're really, really fortunate in where we live that there are plenty of outdoor spaces that we can still go and not bump into anyone and self, uh, sorry, social distancing is not an issue at all with that. So they've gone off to do that this morning and I'm going to do um, so a couple of band, uh, baby bandana bibs and just sort of enjoy the empty house for a bit. Like we don't know if this, um, how long these coronavirus, po coronavirus policies are gonna go on for. Definitely weeks and weeks, but how many months? Like is it gonna be two, three, four, five, six upwards that where that um, he's gonna be working from home, that there's not gonna be many options for going out and about. So I just thought like before we drive one another crazy, Let's just introduce this now and make sure that we're each getting our own personal space. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the situation with us having to move. So yeah, quick recap for those who, who don't know, we were told on two days ago that um, we that our landlord is selling this house that we're renting. So I did post a video on that and I was obviously, it was fresh information, so I was a, a bit more distraught about it at the time. So today being Sunday, I've had a bit of time to process it and feeling not as, um, not as stressed out about the situation. It's still not great, but I sort of realized that we can, we'll be able to tackle it and just get it done. It's, it's not the end of the world. So it's a bit of a complicated situation because for, for one, there's all these different scenarios. Like for one thing, I am not really sure whether our government is going to put um, communities in lockdown. Like for example, in the UK, a friend told me that they're on lockdown and it means that no one, there's a freeze on like selling properties, like no one can move and stuff like this. So if that type of thing were to happen in Australia, then um, we might not have to worry for a little bit, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I really don't know. Well, we did confirm uh, that we are able to stay here until at least September, which is the end of our lease. Even if the property changes ownership, the, um, the new owner is obliged to let us stay in here until September, till the end of our lease. So we've got at least until then. Um, the If the new owner is an investor, then we will likely be able to continue staying here. But if they're an owner occupier, then obviously, have I said obviously like 58 times? Anyway, then we would have to move out. So, 
what what we kind of yesterday our heads were kind of swimming with all the different possibilities and just going a bit nuts trying to figure it all out we literally got some butcher's paper and textures and sat down and did a mind map like like we're in high school just like a brain dump with different sticks and bubbles of all the different possibilities and, and different outcomes and just sort of to sort out our thoughts and figure out what we should do the thing the, the the bigger deal with us moving is in case you didn't know we moved up here six months ago from sydney to northern new south wales so massive move and at the moment we've just been getting to know the area and trying to figure out where we want to live there's a distance of I don't know the actual um, distance in kilometers, but let's just say there's a distance of about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes drive between the northernmost and southernmost areas that we're interested in. If we need to move, then we would want to be renting in an area that we see ourselves possibly living eventually so that we can have continuity with our children's um, like daycare and schooling and you know just getting involved in the community and what have you if, if we can figure out with quite a big degree of confidence that we want to move to a certain area then we'll look to see what rentals are available now and we'll try to move before the baby well, actually, it would have to be before mid-May because, um, like, baby's due mid-June. So that's sort of like like a month and a half to, to do it in. So that's one option. The other option is to use the next five, six months before September to take more time to get an idea of where we want, where we might like to be and than to just possibly have to suck it up and look for rentals after the newborn arrives and move when we've got a newborn which obviously I don't want to do that I don't want to have that chaos I want to focus the time on both children not on split my our attention between having to move but if that is what we have to do then that is what we have to do and like I said, if if someone does buy this property who's an investor, then uh, we won't have that time pressure. And in this market, I don't even know what the likelihood of the current owner selling is, but I can't speculate on that. I really don't know. So yeah, we're just working through it and we'll have some more chats today and figure out if we know where we want to be that is the recap um and i'll yeah i'll keep you posted if, if anything else happens obviously but yeah i hope you uh hope you guys are doing well and uh happy self-care sunday introduce it trust me i think it will be really good for everyone and um yeah keep well and talk soon bye